In this one, we'll take a look at the index feed. The index feed has a new feature for the parts we've been looking at, and the fact that it has a counterboard hole. Counterboard hole is a fairly common manufacturing process where there is a recess for the head of the bolt to recess below the surface. Um, the smaller diameter is the drilled diameter where the bolt goes through, and then the head of the bolt sits in the counterbore, which is the larger diameter, and then this is to a given depth. They are concentric, meaning that they share the same center, and they always are. What makes this a little more difficult is in this, the side views, where you don't see the circles. We have to show this with hidden lines. So there is quite a bit of projection in this. With the one that we're looking at here today, if we create this counterboard feature with hidden lines and center lines, we can then copy it from one view to the other as long as we have some point of reference. Having these angles, I wouldn't say makes this difficult, but there is quite a bit of projection involved. So these angles here at the top are 40 and 50 degrees depending on which side you're measuring from. They are parallel to each other. My suggestion is to change your angle tracking from 15 degree increments to 10 degree increments for this one. And the fact that all the angle measurements are in 10 degree increments, having a 30 degree angle, a 50 and 40, again, based on which reference you're measuring it from. So let's take a look at it. I set up my projection, just trying to alleviate some time and some steps here in creating this drawing. So if I measure up 0.19 and and then measure over 1.25. You will notice that I have a tolerance, and this is the first time we're seeing a tolerance as well. forgot to mention that. 0.75 to 0.745. That dimension can be anywhere in between. I'd recommend for construction purposes to make it 0.75, three quarters of an inch, a nominal dimension. So 0.75 which then should leave you with 1.25 here on the other side as well, just mathematically driven based on the overall length. So stretch some lines here, clean this front view up, and we'll look to the next feature. The thickness of the material here in the middle, and this is commonly mistaken, is 0.62. Take note to where the extension lines are extending from, which object lines. So I'm going to set that projection. I'm going to measure up 0.62 and draw a horizontal line. This will not continue all the way across, but that will come into play as we start projecting some features. As we measure one inch in, we will create that little notch that is 0.19 inches deep. And if we measure back 1.25, we will create this feature here as well. So for, now well, I got one more dimension. 0.25. We can drop this straight down and clean up right here. That's about all we can get as of right now from this front view dimensionally. We can project this information to the top and the right side view. This does project this quarter inch distance in. Now we're making that 40 degree angle. I would take reference. 
if I'm starting vertical, my angle is 90 degrees. So if I want 40, I really want to create a 50 degree angle here based on my polar tracking in 10 degree increments. And I'm looking for that 50 degree angle because the fact that this angle measurement is measured between this vertical edge and here, which does give me a 50 degree angle here. So now knowing that, if I started here knowing that this is zero, I could snap right out here to 50 right away. But that is based on the fact that vertical is 90, horizontal is 180, straight down is 270. So I'm going to project this little corner cut out here. And again, this one's a little bit easier to come by. And the fact that I mentioned that they are parallel, there is that 50 degree angle. So I've projected information top to bottom. I do have some hidden lines and I would just go and project them a while. Don't forget them later on. And these do run parallel object lines override hidden lines. No surprises there. Project over and across to get that 50 degree angle notch a distance down to 0.19 and over. So I did have to project from the top view to the right side. I do have a object line and I do have another object line. There's an edge right here that is created. Okay, so now for the 30 degree angle. That 30 degree angle takes place 0.94 across the top. So again, if I'm at zero and I start to move down, I'm looking at 90 degrees. So I am, it's an easy one, 30 degrees. I don't have to calculate the inverse angle and 0.94. And then this just drags back to hit that 45 degree angle line. So this information now needs to be projected to the top. Here is my vertice to create the angle. This then drops down to the front, where then these two will cross. No, wrong one. Sorry. This is your leading edge. We'll then cross. So there's my projection from top to front to right side. Now all that's left is the counterboard hole. No, I have a hidden line. I'm missing this hidden line. This is the hidden line. This line will be hidden, back edge projection, and this line is hidden. Now for the counter bore. The top is pretty easy to come by. My recommendation, use a rectangle. Horizontal distance, this is a mathematical equation. 1.25 plus 0.38 is a distance of 1.63 with a vertical distance. I'm stuck on that. Snap. 1.63 by 0.75. This corner for the, from the rectangle gives us the center for the two circles. They are both in diameter. Whether you draw the half inch or the three quarter inch first for this one, doesn't matter. 0.5 and a 0.75. The counter bore diameter is always larger. Center marks, larger diameter, 
Now I have to project this from one view to the other. I would take a moment here to make some point of reference. And then this information is just going to be projected straight down. So that depth of the counterbore is 0.38. Uh, I could project over, the dimensions are pretty easy, 0.75 and a vertical line of 0.38. So this is the counterbore part. Now I'm going to create the drilled hole part, which in this case it does go all the way through. It is a half inch diameter hole. Projection takes place pretty easily as long as a, as well as a center line. I'm not going to project all that information over here. It's too much work. Copy it. Extend my center lines. Create a center line. And then create or change my line type to hidden lines. I'm going to take all of this information for the counter bore because the counter board hole is the same. Find a same point of reference, I use the middle and copy it from one view to the other. All projection lines are complete. And there you have it.